Hey everyone. As you probably know, Ableton Live 11 has just been announced. And among all the really cool new features, there are some great new audio effects. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you a glimpse at how these guys work and a little bit about how I've been using them in my own music. First up, we're gonna take a look at Hybrid Reverb. Then a really unique sound design tool called Spectral Resonator. And then a really interesting effect called Spectral Time. I've gone ahead and put these three new audio effects into three instrument racks, which you can download below. And what's really cool about these instrument racks is they take full advantage of the new rack features in Ableton Live 11. So I think you're gonna really enjoy these once you get your hands on the software. Without further ado, let's jump in and start learning. Alright, so here we are in Ableton Live 11, and this is the track I'm working on, and in particular I have this electric keyboard here that I'm going to want to add some reverb to. Let me just play the track for you real quick so you get an idea for what's going on. Yeah, it sounds good dry like that, but let's take it up a notch with some reverb. So let's go to our browser and in audio effects, time and space, we've got the new hybrid reverb. Let's drag hybrid reverb onto this track. So yeah, this is definitely a big step up in terms of reverb in Ableton. It's really beautiful and it gives you a ton of different options. The reason I say that is it's actually a combination, as you can probably see, of a convolution reverb and an algorithmic reverb. And you can blend the two however you like. Or you can select to use only the algorithmic portion or only the convolution portion. And if you are blending the two, you have two options. You have serial, so the convolution reverb goes into the algorithmic reverb. Or parallel, where you're hearing a mix of the two. So a lot of really sweet options here. Okay, let's actually now hear how this thing sounds. I'm going to try out some of the different impulse responses. These are the impulse response categories. And then within them, you have different impulse responses you can choose. This freeze area is dope. You can get some really cool, huge pads by clicking these buttons. Hmm, this right here is just a nice, subtle, splashy reverb. Very nice. Some really clear, beautiful sounds coming out of this reverb. Let's check it out on some vocals now. So I got these vocals here from a Black Octopus sound pack called 
Amy Kirkpatrick, Wild. It's available in the Warp Academy store. Thanks to Black Octopus for letting me use these. Let's hear them just totally dry. Cool, now let's hear some hybrid reverb on this vocal. I really like these texture impulse responses. They're really interesting. Yeah, really cool, very unique. At this point, I should point out how hybrid reverb has some really nice features that you don't find on every reverb out there. A big one is the pre-delay here, which you can set to musical values. And that's really sweet. Dialing in a really precise pre-delay is a really professional move and doing it in musical values can make it even easier. This feedback slider is also really cool. It really lets you extend the reverb by quite a lot. Then over here we have vintage, which is awesome because you get different emulations of old noisy reverbs with a lot of quote unquote character. Really interesting possibilities there. And then finally, something I'm really excited about is the built-in EQ, which you can set to happen either before the reverb or after with this option. Yeah, all in all, a really beautiful and flexible reverb. Tons of sounds that you can get out of here that are just great and a major upgrade to the sound design tools that come bundled in Ableton Live. Okay, spectral resonator. What does a spectral resonator even do, right? Well, I could go through all these parameters and explain them, but that would just take way too long. And I'd rather have you hear what they're doing. And I'd rather show you a bit about how I've been using it. So this is a sound that I totally stumbled upon. It was originally this. Which is basically a plain old saw wave in wavetable, which is perfect sometimes, but 
I ended up getting something way fresher just by playing around with Spectral Resonator. Cool, so let me show you how I went about making this. I'll delete this for now and load up a new instance. Audio effects, pitch and modulation, spectral resonator. Okay, so I've really been liking using spectral resonator as its own kind of instrument so that it can pitch with my keyboard playing. In order to do that, you need to change the mode from internal to MIDI, and then you need to select the track that you have your current synth on. So I'm gonna select the name of this track, which I named Spec Res Instrument. And I've been going with pre-effects mostly. And polyphonic so that I can play chords. So now I can play a scale and the sound of Spectral Resonator will pitch up with the scale. All right, cool, so we've got our mode set to MIDI. Now let's take a look at the modulation modes. These are really important in that they will drastically alter the sound that you're getting from Spectral Resonator. That was none, but let's check out chorus. I actually love granular. I can't wait to do a lot of stuff with that. It's really, uh, I don't even know what to call it. But for this particular song I'm working on, I'm gonna go with Wander. And I'm gonna bring the harmonics way down, which is essentially kind of like filtering out all the higher end. Yeah, I like it right about there. Now I'm gonna crank the decay. Yeah, so it's getting way more lush now. I'm gonna crank the mod rate. Nice, it's getting trippy. Do a little bit of filter damping. Just kind of tames the tail of things a bit. Stretch is interesting. Just gonna put it all the way to 100. And then over here on the right, we've got a old friend unison. Yeah, something like that. Again, we've gone from this. Saw wave to this. And that's how you can turn a very basic saw wave into something way more unique with Spectral Resonator. All right, let me show you one of the ways that I've been using Spectral Time. I've been using it a lot on my effects, things like risers. Uh, here's a riser, a pretty standard hip hop trap kind of riser that you've probably heard before basically. So, you know, definitely not bad, but let's throw on spectral time and see what that does. So right away you could hear it breaking up the sound and delaying it a bit, right? Let's turn dry wet all the way to 100. Crank the feedback as well. Yeah, getting nuts. Cool. All right, now check out this tilt control.
I'm going to turn this up to 100% wet as well. And finally, let's just add a little stereo image. Yeah, pretty cool, right? I went from a very standard riser sound to this. All right, thanks for watching. Again, you can download these racks with the audio effects in them with the link below. And if you enjoyed watching this video today, why not check out the free trial over at warpacademy.com. Here you can see loads of other tutorials and courses on Ableton Live, sound design, and much more. Stay tuned to this channel for more on what's new in Ableton Live 11, and I will see you next time. Take care.